Welcome to Straight Line MTB, and today we're talking about the Tioga Edge 22. Welcome back, Straight Liners, to Straight Line MTB, and today I am talking about the new, brand newish Tioga Edge 22 tire. Uh, this is a 29er specific tire. Look at this tire. This tire is weird, different maybe a little bit of both. It, I like this tire. I was very intrigued after seeing positive reviews from some of the professional reviews uh, and just seeing how different it is. I am a rider. I don't like to do the same thing that everybody's doing. Although sometimes that does translate into getting the best stuff, but the Tioga Edge 22 being something different really piqued my interest. So I reached out to Tioga and the awesome people over there said, hey, we're gonna send you a tire. We want you to try it out and give us a review and let us know what you think. Um, so working with Tioga, they have been great, answering all my questions, very positive, very quick feedback. So that again, something that I'm really high on and I've talked about in some of our bike reviews. I love the companies that really reach out to you and support you. So thank you to Tioga for sending us this tire to check it out. So let's talk about the specs of the Tioga Edge 22. So this is a 2.5 29er tire again, this is the currently the only model that they have. It's a, it's not super sticky. It's just kind of I'd say it's similar to just maybe the regular Maxxis dual compound. Um, measuring this tire, the 2.5, at the widest part of the knobs on a 30 millimeter internal width rim, this tire came at. 2.42 on width. Um, now going to the just the casing part, no knobs involved, uh, the size was a 2.24. So it does come up under size and looking at it, it does look more similar to like a 2.4 from Maxxis or even our Kenda Hellcat at a 2.4. Um, so it is a little bit, was a little disappointing that it was a little bit on the narrower side. As far as weight, this tire came at at 990 grams. Again, maybe a little bit on the heavier side for you know the casing. It is a just a rate, not a really robust casing, um, a little bit undersized. Um, comp I'd compare it similarly to the Kenda Hellcat. That's a 2.4. They look similar in size, but our Hellcat comes in at 890 grams, so 100 grams lighter. Not super, this is not a super heavy tire. I don't think it's a turn off, but just some notes. Um, and then comparing the size to, let's say, the Asa guy that I've been riding and really, really love on the same rim, a 2.5 XO Plus. The Asa guy came in at 2.45 width at the knobs, and then the casing for the Asa guy was a 2.36. So the Asa guy comes a little bit closer, truer to size to that 2.5, a little bit more uh, thicker tire, um, if that's something you're into. And that, but the Asa guy XO Plus came in at 1100 grams, so it's quite a bit heavier. I have tried the Tioga Edge 22 on both the Transition Sentinel and currently now the transition spur and i've ridden it in various trails i've ridden it all over our local trail system from smooth trails down to that nasty black diamond chunk as well as i've put it through the winter months where it's a little bit sloppy slippery muddy and the drier conditions of the current nasty summer here in norcal where it's just dry loose and crusty and for performance i i'm gonna come out and say that it being a different tire, I was very apprehensive of how I would like it. Being somebody who doesn't corner maybe as hard as most people, I don't lean the bike really hard when I corner. So something like a DHF, if you've ridden that tire, you know that, oh, there's that, there's no intermediate knob. So there's that really vague section of that tire where you can kind of, you know, get a little bit scared and have to lean a little bit more. Um, this tire alleviates that because you only have those intermediate knobs. You don't have any center channel knobs, so you can be a lazy leaner or you can be a really hard corner in this. You're always going to have support on this tire. Um, comparing it also to the Asagai, that tire, the Asagai is a tire that I've ridden and I really like because I never have to worry about my traction because there's knobs all over that tire. I would say that uh, the Tioga Edge sits right in between those two, between the DHF and the Asa guy. I feel like I had more support in the corners that I appreciate than the DHF. Um, I'd say the Asa guy is a little bit, you know, has a little bit more uh, control and traction and some of the gnarly stuff. But again, that Asa guy 
is a 3C compound where this is more like a traditional dual compound. And then thinking about it being a little bit on the narrower side, when I first threw this on our Transition Sentinel, I did notice going from that Asagai that there was a little more trail feedback. And that's, you know, that I think that's something, not a knock on the tire, it's just a little bit smaller tire so you don't have the extra volume for that suppleness. Um, but I will say that I felt like it's a great, great match for the Transition Spur, which I ride on the aggressive side for 120 millimeter bike. This tire has really stepped up for me on that bike and been a great fit up front for that bike. So I would not hesitate to put this on an enduro bike or even uh, something like a light trail uh, to trail bike. It's gonna give you that, that cornering and that just the aggressiveness that you, you're gonna want. One of the things that I noticed and I reached out to Tioga and they hadn't heard anything and I haven't read anything about this in any of the other reviews, the professional reviews, is that center channel down the middle. Um, I have a trail that's really rocky. It's a black diamond. There's a lot of loose rocks, whether it be really small up to really big. Um, on the first few rides, I did notice, I felt like I found the center channel. Those rocks would find that center channel and there'd be a little bit of float just for a millimeter of a second. Um, uh, but after that, I haven't noticed it in the more recent months. So that could just be something, a one-off thing. But otherwise this tire has performed pretty well. The casing has not let me down. I get a lot of uh, puncture flats, mostly on the rear, but on, I do get them on the front, but I have not had any issue with any of those flats. So it seems like the casing for a front tire uh, fits really well, unless you need a super, super aggressive tire. So I reached out to Tioga wondering if they were gonna come out with a stickier compound, and they said that it is in the works. They are coming out with a stickier compound for this tire. Um, unfortunately, they report that due to COVID and uh, the delays of manufacturing, that it's gonna push it back to later this summer in 2021. So I'm excited to keep an eye out for that tire because I think that stickier compound is really gonna step the game up of this tire. Um, and then I also asked about the width of the tire. They said that's due to the manufacturing processes where they measure these tires at max inflation. So um, us running these tires at about a 20 PSI, you're, you are gonna net a little bit narrower um, casing. But like I said, I don't think it's a downfall this tire. Um, I think we're used to Maxxis and some other tire brands coming in bit narrower than what they're suggesting on the side of the tire. But again, not a downfall, this tire was great. So just a wrap up of this tire, this tire comes in at $79 retail. And would I buy this tire on my own? I will say yes, the only reservation is I would wait for a stickier compound. Not that this is bad, but I think we get a little bit, you know, maybe snobbish and we want kind of the best of the best. That coming out, and a stickier combat, I think it's gonna step the game up of this tire because I think it really is a tire that is doing something different. I think we see a lot of brands coming out with tires that, you know, it's a DHF clone or it's a hands damp clone or it's, you know, Magic Mary clone. We're seeing tires look very similar to the, you know, the tried and true big players. I really like this tire being different and not only being different, it's actually doing something different and right. It's really showing us that, you know, Tioga brand that maybe you haven't heard of for a long time if you're a veteran or if you're new you may not have heard of at all I think I appreciate that and I think we should be supporting brands like this um, because they are doing something different and I think they deserve some recognition and hey if we're buying a bunch of edge 22s and let's see what they got in the books uh, for the next version of maybe a rear tire that'll match or something else really cool that we don't even know about. And thank you to Tioga for sending us this tire that I'm obviously in love with. I, I like it. I'm gonna throw it back on my spur and go smash some more laps out here in NorCal. So if you're in the area, don't forget to hit us up. We'd love to ride with you. Um, hit us on our website straightlinemtb.com where you can send us any messages. If you have any questions or comments, comment below. I will get back to you as soon as I can. And again, don't forget to follow us on Instagram and TikTok at straightline underscore MTB. And thank you. Don't forget to give us a like and subscribe. We can't do this without you. We love our supporters. We appreciate our subscribers. So don't forget, let's grow bigger and bigger and bigger so I can bring in more awesome stuff. And you never know, we might bring something cool that you want to see or don't even know you want to see. And I'll bring it to you and put my swing on it. So again, thank you. And we'll see you on the next go round. Gratata.